Yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple message command where like you type in a prefix which is like like what you say like so that the game knows you're typing a command rather than just having a conversation and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a message command where like player says the uh command along with their message and it appears as a message for like every other player in that server like on their screens and stuff for a certain amount of time and stuff which can all be customized by you and stuff i'm just showing it for demonstration purposes you guys can change anything you want but before you get into that i just want to quickly uh remind you guys to let anyone who didn't already know and stuff i set up a discord server you guys can join it the link is in the description you guys can join it because i offer help at any time and stuff like well obviously if i'm on my uh laptop or whatever um and stuff so yeah if y'all need help with like scripting or any type of like world box developing like basic like if it's scripting i can help you with basically almost anything if it's like other stuff like animating modeling and stuff i might be able to help there's no guarantee on that um but you can just join the server you can just join the server to chill ask for help video suggestions yeah and stuff but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that but yeah let's straight into the video all right so first things first we're gonna head on over to server script service and insert a server script we'll name this our um message or no we'll call it announcement script because it isn't it's it's more of an announcement rather than a message since you're sending it to like every single player so yeah first things first we're gonna make a variable this is gonna be our prefix if if you don't know what a prefix is a prefix is like it's what you put so that the game or whatever recognizes that it's a command rather than you just having a conversation and stuff yeah, majority of games prefixes usually like you see the colon or the semicolon. Yeah, that's usually I think that usually that makes more sense. So for this, we're gonna do prefix colon sm, which stands for server message, since you're sending the message to the entire server. Then we're gonna we're gonna click enter twice. We're gonna do game dot players player added connect function player player dot chatted connect function then this is msg which is short for message this is the the player's message whenever they talk and then we're going to create a variable we're actually going to create two our first variable is going to be the local first word because we want the game to realize like what the first message it is the player is saying since we can detect so that we can be able to detect whether or not if they're saying the prefix or if they're just saying like other words so local prefix is equal to I mean local first word is equal to string dot sub which if you guys don't know I don't know really how to explain it because I'm not really that good with like all this stuff I know how to use it but not really to explain it but to put it basically it's splitting up the string which is like the text another word for the text and stuff so yeah what you're gonna, what you're gonna want to put here is one and three because you want to return the first uh message that the player says and stuff and then keep in mind like it's the message total is three characters long the colon the s and the m like yeah two letters and then we'll, we'll just call it three we'll just call it each char a character but yeah three characters total that's why it's one and three yeah if that makes sense i don't really know how to explain it but yeah i'm gonna do string dot sub for one and three then you're gonna do local other words which is w literally whatever what the player everything else the player says after they say the prefix so that you're not like do so that the message doesn't come out with like the prefix then the words you want it to just be the words and stuff so yeah so for this you're gonna want to do string split so you're splitting the message in half so we're splitting the message and the first word so that it only gives us it only gives us um everything but the first word from the message but keep in mind this is a table this is creating a table and not just a string so you got you guys see what I'm talking about in a second but yeah so you, you can just click enter just for separation purposes then you want to do if first word is equal to prefix if the first word that the player says is colon sm if it's equal to that then it'll run this then it'll run the next the next few lines of scripts then what it'll do is we want to run a for iv in pairs loop. We want to get game players get. We want to get the. We want to get all of the players so that we can send this message to every single player. And then we want to do local message 
is equal to instance.new message, then put a comma here, and then we're going to parent it to v.player GUI. Well, you, UI. But yeah, we're going to parent it there. It's going to parent the message to all of the players' uh, G, uh, GUI section so everyone can see the message and stuff. Then we're going to set the message text to message text equals other words. Make sure you set it to other words and then in brackets, you put it in two. You put it two. And the reason for this is if you if you want to see uh, your, for yourself, uh, do print other words, right? Do print other words. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you do print other words, like just for the sake of just trying to see what it looks like, just do print other words and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It gives you a table rather than a string. And you want to make sure you're only getting like the second word set, I should say, if that kind of makes sense. But yeah. So you want to do bracket two and then that's you're setting the message text. And then uh we'll have a wait time of like three not like five seconds would be good. And then we'll do message destroy. Then it then it'll destroy the message. It's creating and destroying the message on server side, so the message will be completely destroyed. So yeah, if we click play, I apologize if um my explanation was not the best, but yeah. Okay, so if we click play, if we do colon sm and then uh hello, that's weird. It should be doing our message. That's weird. Mm, I might have done this in the wrong order. I was I was thinking about that. Mm, my fault, guys. I think I just had it. In, I think I might have just had it in the wrong order. Yeah, 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 I think I just had it in the wrong order. One second. Let's see. Let's see. As, um, no, that's not it either. Okay, okay. I apologize, guys. Uh, let me see. First word. Print. Other words. I apologize guys, I don't know why it's not working. I must have done something wrong. Uh, let's see, let's see. Mm, so, it does that, and then, oh yeah, but this is what I was talking about. It prints like this. It's weird, because this should work. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, wait, 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 I'm, wait, wait, my bad guy's not left. Hold on, hold on. I see what I did wrong. I did the string dot split wrong, guys. Well, well, no, no, no not string dot split, I'm sorry. String dot sub wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did that wrong. So, the way it's supposed to be, you're supposed to put the string first, which is the message right here, so MSG. Then you want to do one, then you want to do one comma three. I'm sorry, guys, that's my fault. And then... Um. Then you want to do yeah, yeah. I had the order right for the for, for over here. Yeah, I apologize. I apologize. But there you go. Okay. So what you want to fix is you want to do message comma one comma three. Then down here do message comma first word. Okay. There we go. There we go. I apologize, guys. Okay. Now if we do it, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now 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 it appears. Then we wait five seconds. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Now look, if you just do this, nothing will happen because it'll only run if it only run if you have text after the prefix. And it'll appear for five seconds, and then boom, destroy. And then if because literally, if you just try anything else, sm, uh, sm, you could try doing this. It still won't work. You have to do exactly this. Then you have to do exactly that, and then yeah. And then if you head over here, uh, well, let me do it again. You guys will see it appears as a message. And then after five seconds, it'll delete itself. And keep in mind, this is on the client side. Like it's like client and server side. So you don't have to worry about it, about it like only deleting on one side. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Because I know some people might have questions regarding like, oh, how can I make it so only certain people can... um can use it um and then like there's a lot of stuff you could do with this command like if you want to include the player's profile picture like the roblox uh picture or like the author of the message like the put like the player who sent the message 
like you could do i'll just i'll just show real quick how you could do like just in case if anyone's interested in knowing how you can do um like the, the author the person who made the message then you do local player you would you could do that dot, dot then message sent by space it out another dot 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 then do player dot name and then if you go here and click play and then if we do sm hello yeah it'll do oh well i should have put a space between but yeah message sent by spyj19 it'll show, show my username i should have put a space right here to separate it but yeah that's basically um how you make a message like an announcement command using the message um using the message instance but yeah uh dang this video is 11 minutes long i was hoping it'd be shorter but yeah though as always hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it was able to help you guys as always if you guys have any questions or comments um if questions concerns suggestions or anything um leave a comment join the discord i just joining the discord because i do check my comments like i do check it like a few times a day but it's just better to join the discord because it's like the discord you can send me images we can have a more smooth conversation rather than going back back and forth on youtube comments and stuff so i would suggest joining the discord server plus i'm more active on this too you'll probably get a faster response and more consistent response from me and stuff but yeah though. but you can still use the comment section to ask for help or anything and make suggestions of course but yeah though, uh, you can join my roblox group or um my discord server like i said links will be in the description and stuff uh as well as the script the full script will be in the description as well in case you guys want to copy and paste or just verify that you type the script correctly and stuff and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe appreciate the support you guys have been showing showing me and yeah let's try to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year so yeah i'll see you guys